how to increase FPS and lower lag in H1Z1, Just Survive, and King of the Kill. So first off, we're going to be changing the user settings, and you can also change the NVIDIA control panel settings if you have a NVIDIA card. And first, I'm starting off with the NVIDIA. To get to these settings, you want to click Show Hidden Icons, and it's going to have the GeForce Experience icon. You're going to want to right-click it and click Open NVIDIA Control Panel. And if you do not have this tab, then all you're going to have to do is open the uh, Run and type in NVIDIA Control Panel. And once it comes up, you're going to be on the Manage 3D Settings tab. And there's going to be Global Settings and Program Settings. Uh, with Global Settings, it basically throws it throughout your whole computer, which would actually reduce the uh, lag in almost all your programs. But if you, don't, if you only want to do it for H1Z1, you're going to click Program Settings and select the program right here. You're going to want to uh, press H1Z1. And I'm going to be starting off the bottom of what settings you should change. You could basically just copy these or just change the ones that have the most effect. So basically, I'm starting off with the vertical sync. This V-Sync basically prevents screen tearing, and in times, it doesn't even make a difference at all if you have it enabled or not, except it, it gives you much more FPS if you have it off. So if you want to increase the FPS, you're going to put this to off. The next option that you need to change is texture filtering quality. You're going to put this onto high performance. Uh, it would help a lot with FPS. The next setting that you're going to want to change is power management mode. Most people are going to have this set to adaptive on default, but if you, once you put it to prefer maximum performance, it's going to be using much more of your GPU, and it will help the FPS quite a bit. And also, the other one that you want to change is maximum pre-rendered frames. You're going to set this to 1 so that your computer isn't loading too many frames it doesn't need to be. And that's pretty much it for the NVIDIA control panel settings. And next, we're going to be getting into the King of the Kill or Just Survive launcher settings. So just want to open it up. I actually already have it open. And you're going to see this little advanced tools option in the bottom left of the launcher. You want to click it and click open game directory. Once this is open, you want to click one of these lower files. Don't double click it. And then press U. And it's going to take you to the user options file. And you want to click right click properties. Make sure that this isn't set on read only. And if it's not set on read only, just open it up and drag down to the rendering uh, area. And it's going to have effects quality, overall quality, texture quality, shadow quality, floor quality, and render distance. For, I'm going to be starting at uh, floor quality. You're going to put this to 1. If you're on a lower end system, it basically just loads differently the trees and the grass and the environment. It doesn't really have too much an effect of the system, but it will give you a little bit more FPS if you lower it. And the shadow quality, you want to set this to 0. Uh, it would just basically just get rid of every single shadow, give you way more FPS. This is the, like one of the biggest settings that you could change to get more FPS. Texture quality, these really just depend on your system and what you can run. And you just want to mess around, see what you can run. I'm on the 750 Ti and these work pretty well for me. Even though I can get like around over 100 FPS with a 144Hz monitor. So once you have those, you're going to want to see the render distance. You're going to set this to... 1500 if you have like a mid build anything lower you'd want to put it down a bit doesn't really affect it too much and that's pretty much it for these and also it really depends on your computer but sometimes when people put this into windowed mode it makes the game a little bit faster so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed remember to leave a like and peace out see ya